The road to being a champion is a demanding path, one that only the greatest can overcome. From Honolulu to Millbury, Massachusetts, Ron Darling was taught by his parents to strive for greatness and to keep his eyes and mind open to everything else. The Mets have won the World Series! These attributes led Ron Darling to the pinnacle. The dream has come true. To be that champion. This is Ron Darling's story. When the Mets acquired Ron Darling from the Texas Rangers in April of 1982, few realized it was a deal that would pay dividends for the franchise for decades to come. The Mets weren't only acquiring a standout pitcher, they were acquiring the consummate gentleman, a man who would become a New York icon. Ron was a backbone for our rotation in the 80s, winning double-digit games for six straight seasons from 1984 through 1989. In 1985, Ron was a National League All-Star. And the following year, he was a catalyst for a legendary pitching staff and our club that was simply amazing. On the biggest stage, got it. Ron came up aces in the 86 ball class. After starting game one at Shea, he took the mound for game four at Fenway, helping us even the series at two. And as you know, the series ended in ecstasy on the Shea mound. Decades later, Ron's 99 wins are still the fourth most by any pitcher in Mets history, and his 1,148 strikeouts ranks him seventh all time. His resume speaks for itself, an All-American, an all-star, a gold glover, an Emmy award-winning broadcaster, and a fan favorite to the orange and blue faithful. It takes a special individual to perform under the bright lights of this city. And only the best can say they've won in the Big Apple. That's why we call Ron Darling a champion.